Star Brethren, your number one source for everything Starbound. Hello everyone, I'm Kamo and welcome back to Starbound. In this video, we are going to talk about the Creature Capture Station, which is another one created out of the Research Station and requires 20 Platinum Bars. So let's talk about this baby. This is one that has been requested a lot for me to cover because uh, a few folks are unsure of how it works and I'm going to explain it all today. So, first things first, when you place the Creature Station, you have to create capture pods and those require eight steel and I created a whole bunch for myself and I actually have one filled here now as you can see when you highlight it after you've captured a creature it just says filled so unless you're paying a oh okay he's up there <laughs> I uh I freaked out a little bit there for a moment. I thought my, my little guy was gone. So, as you can see, I've got a little guy with me. Now, not all creatures are capturable, and I'll show you how to make the distinction between the two. So once you've got a guy, and he's following you around, if you want to bring him back with you, you unfortunately do have to use an empty capture pod to bring him back with you, unless you can get him killed. If you can get him killed, he'll come back to you as a capture pod. Unfortunately, when you port between your ship and planets, or, you know, go between planets, they don't follow, so you have to bring him with you manually. Let's go down to the planet, and I will show you some of the creatures that you can look for. Alright, it's nighttime. Let me go ahead and forward this a little bit. Alrighty, I figured it'd be easier to show this to you guys during the day. Now, there's actually a little guy right here that I'm following around, so let's go ahead and light up the arena, and I'll show you what it's like. So, you might notice, th now, it's, it's kind of hard sometimes, but you will notice for the most part that any one of the babies or the capturable creatures is about half the size of their normal counterpart. And what you have to do is bring them down to half health, and then throw a capture pod into them. That's it. That's actually all there is to it. The hardest part is discerning which ones are babies and which ones are full grown. I'll show you a couple of each so that maybe it'll help you out. And so far as I can tell, you cannot capture birds yet. That would be amazing, but you cannot capture them yet, so far as I know. So, you can actually see these guys. So you see those two. Those are full grown. This one's quite a bit smaller than them. So over time, you'll start to see the patterns that make them, you know, that show their size differential, because you'll see these body parts on more creatures, you'll see them on like a full-grown one, and, you know, that'll give you an idea going forward of what they look like. Now, one thing that's cool is that they don't get injured by things like lava. He ran right into that lava, and he didn't get injured at all. They'll aggro like they normally would, and when they die, they'll come right back to you, and they use all of the same skills. And fortunately, they do die pretty frequently, but like I said, it's really cool because they will come right back to you. So if you want them to come with you, as of right now, you unfortunately have to get them killed if you don't want to have to spend your capture pod. If you don't care and you just want to spend the capture pod to get out of there for the sake of getting out of there, then of course that is an option for you as well. But see, it got close enough to him. He didn't actually hit me, but he got close enough that he started attacking. So that's, that's pretty much the monsters. Now, they will try and jump to try and get to you, which is pretty cool. And <laughs> as you can see, depending on what you capture, they'll either do better or they'll do worse. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. And you can have a ton of them with you. You can have an entire army of these things. And if they get killed, like I said before, you can just bring them right back. No problems, because it'll give you the capture pod. Uh, it used to be where when one of them died, you lost them. They, they were gone. Now they act more like Pokemon. When they get knocked down and fatigued, they go back to the Pokeball and, you know, they come back. Is that how Pokemon work? It's been a long time since I've played Pokemon. Anyway, so that's the capture station. I hope that explained things for you guys. Um, if you have any further questions for me, definitely don't hesitate to ask. I will be more than happy to cover it for you guys. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, you all take care.